welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be doing another install of micro lock twist extensions but we'll be doing it on short fine textured hair in this video we'll be featuring queen queen version remy hair i want to make sure i say it right okay let me show you there they're pink which i'm gonna call it boop boop okay so it's bulk hair kinky texture extra soft lightweight and you can bleach and dye this hair it says um, I already like this hair. I've smelled it. I'm into it. It's hundred percent unprocessed human hair. Also in the package comes, of course, a crochet hook and then some little lock jewelry if you're, if you're into it. But, um, I'm going to prep this hair like I would any other hair. I'm going to douse it in hot water just to stretch it out and to get, if it, anything runs off of it, I'll let you know in the voiceover following this part of the video, if any, uh, color ran off or anything ran off per se and I'm you're gonna see how it performs while getting installed I'm excited you know I prefer hair that is pre-stretched out like this so this is already getting to the top of my list so if you want to see how I install and the precautions you should take as well as the aftercare once um, someone has fine hair and they get an extensions keep watching my video don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching let's get to it Okay, so we're gonna jump right in. So for this install, we're jumping in on day two. I only had the front and one square in the back to finish. So as you can see, I like to count my rows to just make sure I'm going to be on the same type of number with all sections. In addition to that, this client's hair was really short, not really short, but short and really fine. So because of that, I used, okay, listen up. I used smaller pieces of extension hair, but I used two. So think more about maybe taking one piece of extension hair and then splitting it into two. That way, both sides of our hair have enough integrity to hold. In addition to that, um, they, it's not too much hair weighing down on her head. She actually had micro lock extensions before this and she wasn't happy with them. She felt like they weren't full enough. And um, she was definitely excited and super happy after this install. Um, another thing I did, especially when working with shorter hair, something I've learned, you wanna braid further down than you were, would if someone had longer hair. Because if you have longer hair, you have more to hold on to. But if the shorter hair, um, when your client has shorter hair, you wanna make sure to braid further down. I try to braid at least to the end of where her hair ended and then twist the rest of the way for most of them. Some of them I, just, I stopped right before, but that was the general consensus of it. Another thing when doing fine hair is you don't necessarily need to do a four point rotation. Um, four point rotations are gonna hold your locks um, a little more tinier, a little more uh, succinct and um, thinner. Um, for her hair, I wanna give her hair room to expand because it's fine so that nothing's snapping off long term. So I did mainly a two point to three point um, interlocking rotation for this client's head. I love it, loved it, it came out great. Um, you're gonna see me go through you know, these next couple of sections just showing you my install method with fine hair. If you have any questions at all, please leave your comments below. Um, the hair is from QV, um, QV, QVR Hair and I absolutely loved it. It, was, it didn't run when I washed it or rinsed it more, more or less when I rinsed it. It smelled good and it was stretched out. And you know that is a definitely must for me when installing uh, micro locks. So I think I covered everything. For the rest of the video, I'm just going through the process throughout her head, showing you um, what, I'm, what I'm doing. Like I said, I'm adding two pieces instead of one and they're both fairly small because her hair is really fine. I wanna make sure we're not adding too much weight you know as your hair locks we want things to be uniform and it to not look absolutely crazy lastly at the end of the install i did do a style so we just did two barrel rows and her intention is to keep those in until her next retie because her hair is so short and fine we know that we would have a lot of slippage if we did otherwise so i'll, I'll keep you guys updated with how that goes but you'll see the style at the end of the video and yeah, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I will try to get to them as fast as I can. You guys have a great week and I'll see you guys in the next one.
Also, last thing, um, if you're wondering what I used on her hair, so I used uh, a heavier gel to help me part just because, you know, sometimes finer hair is a little more flyaway-ish than other hair, so her hair was a little more flyaway-ish, if that makes sense. So I used the gel that was gonna help me actually lay things down so I could see. Um, I also used a little bit of gel to smooth down some of her, the ends of her hair when I was uh, twisting down just to make it more seamless. Um, you know, so I used that. I used a spray bottle with water in it and dis um, distilled water and lemongrass uh, oil in it. And I believe that's all I used for her hair. I don't think I used mousse. I think it was just a gel, a little bit of it now. I didn't go crazy, but just a little teeny bit, a little touch, okay? Just a touch of love, okay? And then um, <clears throat> the water when I needed to rehydrate. And I think that's it. Okay, that's it. 